Hello again, everyone. You know, in 2013, which is almost seven or eight years back, uh, there was an American journalist called Gren Grenwald, and he traveled to Hong Kong on an anonymous tip-off to meet uh, a government official, a U.S. government official. The name of that official was Edward Snowden, and the rest is history. Uh, you must have heard about Snowden and his massive leaks uh, and whistleblowing of the NSA in the US. And based on that uh, meeting and then all the revelations that followed, uh, Glenn uh, actually wrote a book called No Place to Hide. I thought of it for two reasons. I'm in the UK and I saw that the UK government has started this uh, uh, campaign called No Place to Hide. And the second reason I thought of that was that coincidentally, it was also the week which was being celebrated as Data Privacy Week. January 28th every year is actually Data Privacy Day. Part two, there is something called the Five Eyes. Now, it's a very cool name. The Five Eyes is actually an alliance of uh, spying agencies, espionage agencies of five Western powers, the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and the European Union, uh, or rather actually Canada. And basically, the five eyes passed a diktat very recently to all the uh, internet and social networking companies in the world, saying that they needed to access user data and that these companies should make what is called a back door, uh, a door which can be opened by these agencies. Uh, so, so, and, and you know, that they could look at all your conversations, what you do online, and the agencies should actually give them the key to this back door. Now, <clears throat> most of our life, as we all know, has now become online. Uh, everything about us is in our, say, our chat conversations. Um, we talk to our doctors about our uh, very private medical problems and records. Uh, we talk to lawyers, whether we be individuals or companies, uh, again, on sensitive matters. Uh, we talk to our spouses and partners and lovers on very intimate things. And we expect that the things that the companies are doing, like end-to-end uh, -end encryption or disappearing messages or two-factor authentication, will actually protect these very private, sometimes intimate conversations. But here are the Western powers, the powers which actually uh, talk so much about democracy and uh, uh, people's right to uh, privacy actually asking the the, the, uh, the companies whose, whose products we use that they should have the right to look at everything that we do. And it's a bit rich because uh, the last this happened was, uh, it came into light was when all these same countries actually banned Huawei, the Chinese telecom operator, uh, because they suspected, in fact, uh, they uh, alleged that China was, that Huawei was building a backdoor into its entire telecom infrastructure for the Chinese government. And so they did not like it. And so they banned them. And here now they're asking for backdoors to be built. Uh, backdoors are intrinsically a problem uh, because, you know, once you build a backdoor, two things, two things can happen. The moment you're building a product with a backdoor in it, you're in intrinsically creating a product uh, whose security is compromised. It's like, as, as, a, as, a, uh, as a New York Times reporter said, it's like as if you're already building a windshield with a hole in it. The moment a windshield has a hole in it, the structural integrity of the windshield uh, is in trouble. It'll, it'll have cracks all over. And so it's therefore much easier to compromise, to hack, not only by the government, but by anyone else if you build a product uh, with a with a uh, uh, with a uh, possible backdoor or a possible uh, entry into it. The second thing is that the moment you build a backdoor, hackers will discover it. As we have seen in uh, the history of cybersecurity, hackers tend to be far more one step ahead always of the law enforcement authorities and even the tech companies in discovering vulnerabilities. And if you build a backdoor, they will certainly and immediately or very soon find one 
And it's not only going to be the government who's going to be snooping on you. It might be non-state actors. It might be malevolent hackers, people who could blackmail you. And so backdoors really are a bad, bad, bad idea. Um, now, we do understand that, you know, sometimes for law and order uh, situations, we need to have some kind of a possibilities to uh, to share data. But I think there can be better ways than building backdoors everywhere. Anthony Burgess uh, once said that to be left alone is the most precious thing one can ask of the modern world. But with these backdoors, I think we in the modern world will have no place to hide.